Hi Arsenal Fan TV, my name is Josephine. Uh, today's game was really interesting. Uh, I think that there are a few positives that we can take from this game. Firstly, the fact that you know Arsene Wenger was able to show his class in his last game at Old Trafford. Um, we saw his style in action, his you know his beautiful football style in action, which is one point. And the second point is, you know, the other aspect of Arsene, Arsene Wenger, as well as Arsenal Football Club's culture was in display today, which is, you know, uh, the, you know, the whole process of bringing in young, talented people from um, around the world and giving them, you know, the stage, uh, this opportunity to play at, at, at such a high level. Uh, against big teams like uh, Man United and today the young Greek player uh, Mavra Panos uh, he, he performed really well so, so did Maitland Niles and so you know these are really promising things and some of the highlights of uh, Arsene Wenger's style was on display today which was great uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Thursday now and I really hope that Arsenal can, you know, pull off a really good performance. And as, as far as today goes, I was so disappointed, disappointed at the last minute when, you know, when, when that happened. I think if, we have, if we'd been a bit more careful, could have been avoided and could have been the first away point. But again, disappointment. Yes, Robbie. I think the boys did well yesterday. Uh, I thought, like I said on my preview, I thought we were going to get smashed. You know, I thought we were going to lose. Uh, the question was by how many. But I think they did all right. Uh, I'm not too far from Old Trafford right now, and obviously I work with all United and City fans. You know, but not one United fan has said anything today. Everyone said we played well. That young kid, uh, what's he called, Mavropanos? He, he looks good. He looks one for the future. Uh, Mkhitaryan played well. Um, Bellerin played well as well uh, just looking forward to Thursday now I hope we win there and get to the final really disappointed with the result but youngsters played really well the first goal was Hamburg when Nelson broke down should have been a fall reminded me when well they lost it and led to Chris Monikolaisen should have have should have held the 1-1 one -one, but one ball from the top again we can't see now stupid goal Hot for memories in the end for Arsene Wenger. But proud when you played really well. The big games at Old Trafford with the likes of Chambers, Mofropanos in the back, Madeleine Niles, Joe Willock and Wes Nelson. Cheers, the future is bright. Love the gesture from Man United. We showed the class. Sir Alex and Jose Mourinho, thank you very much for your um, Perception on Arsenal Wenger last trip to Old Trafford. Thank you, Robbie. Have a good one. So, another away loss. And uh, these are the norm now. This is Arsenal. This is Arsenal. This is new Arsenal. Best get used to it, you know. Um, I just hope we can salvage something this Thursday, you know. Uh, I think that's literally all we have to put. We mathematically got knocked out of the top four. Um, for you optimists, of course, if, if you were still amongst a few that thought we had a chance of the top four, well, um, that dream has already gone away. Um, so it's the Europa League now, and uh, you know what? Um, and which was pretty obvious with the team selection. We put out all young guys, and uh, they actually played well. You know, I'll give them back. Um, the defending was, was all right today. Uh, on that cross, we could have closed out better on the cross, but I mean, Fellaini just got up higher than the defender. You can't really fault the defender for that one. So, uh, to on to the Europa League. Um, let's go ahead and win this game and uh, kick on. What's going on, Arsenal fan TV? Um, thoughts on the game? I mean, we lost. Another loss on the road. But the thing is, even with a second string team like that, we still played well. So it's like, people are going to come out the ground today and thinking like we could have won the game but we have our eyes on Thursday positives from the game Maitland and Niles played well Mavrapanos came in and played well um Mkhitaryan played well definitely well so we're glad to have him back for Thursday so it's just going to be another plus with just a lot of positives today 
even though we lost. So we can't be too angry. We knew that, you know, this game wasn't our priority. So nothing else really to say, really. We're just looking to Thursday. The, the team was well rested. So yeah, we lost, but I still feel positive. Thanks. Oh. All in all, I think we had a good game today and the young star, the young players, they did very well today. The midfield, they defended well. Unfortunately, we lost the game. And um, this all comes down again to the life of Shaka, Bellerin. I don't know what Shaka is doing. I don't know why he, the way he tackles, I don't understand. And um, Bellerin, I don't know if the guy needs like 10 opportunities to put in a perfect cross the way we the way we lose the game like is pretty much annoying sometimes because we do have the opportunity but we don't take our opportunities we don't take the opportunities that we have that close with just a team of youngsters against the full strength man united side all right but that was okay okay i think mavropanos to put a Pretty good account of himself in that game. Honestly, the young defenders did a pretty solid job, aside from dealing with the high balls towards the end. But I mean, it's just an experience. They'll get maybe they'll get better. We can hope. Maybe under the new coach, they'll become good prospects to replace Kashelny and Mustafi later on. I hope. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm okay with this. Surprisingly, uh, even though it's Fenger's last game against United, going out with a loss, but. I can deal with that in light of the spirited performance they put in. They defended well. Aubameyang left anonymous, but I mean, what can a striker do without service? Uh, shout out to Mkhitaryan, I guess, not celebrating when Sanchez had to celebrate a false assist coming in against us. Good, good job. Anyway, young guns, we hope to see more of you in the future. Reaction to the defeat, uh, fantastic performance for the most part. Um, it's tough on us. The, uh, apart from the first 10-15 where I thought the defence looked a bit shaky, I thought the back four played excellently. Uh, big plus point for us was the attitude and everything else. And there's a star, a star in Maitland-Niles. Uh, in against Pogba, Matic and Herrera, uh, I think it's flattering to the others to say that Maitland-Niles didn't look out of place, he was fantastic. I thought a couple of the big boys let us down a little bit, I thought Iwobi was quiet, I thought, uh, I thought Aubameyang could have done a bit more, but um, overall, um, we can't really complain about the quality of the performance. It was always going to be a case of uh, damage limitation today. We could have done a little bit more. We could have done a little bit more. And like I said the defeat being as late as it was was a bit harsh on us. But it's a uh, it's a decent performance ahead of Thursday. So come on, you gooners, let's roll on for Thursday. Hey guys, this is Abu Zaid from Egypt. Um, I'm I'm happy with the performance of the young lads. They fought very well. Obviously disappointed with the result. Uh, right at the death. And it was what is what is really bad is that it was a carbon copy from the goal that was disallowed um, shortly before. Uh, same across from the from our right hand side and and they they scored. Um, the same was was the goal the goal that counted in the end and that this actually undone all the good work that you have done. We were good enough for a point yesterday, uh, maybe more. I was happy with uh, Meta Niles. It was fantastic against Pogba and Matic. And also uh, the great defender Dinos was very good. So I'm just disappointed. Uh, 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 Reece Nielsen didn't didn't show everybody what he can, what he's capable of. But let's take some heart from that and just focus on Atletico Madrid. We have a chance. We can do this. Hey, what's up, Ravi? This is Zach. I'm from Kenya, Nairobi, and uh, I'd like to give you my thoughts on uh, the game yesterday, which I thought was. Um, Kinda, kinda weird because we weren't fighting for anything. Given the fact that Arsenal is one of the best clubs in the world, and also um, I'd like to give a shout out to the um, Mavro Panos, the the defender who got his debut. He got a crazy debut. Shout out to that kid. Shout out to to uh, Reese Nelson. He had a nice game. Um, he got fouled before the first goal for Man U. So yeah, you should get that too. And also, uh, I wished I wished Lacazette would play so it would boost his confidence more. But it's okay. Yeah, that's what I've got to say. So Thank I would you. just like to say that compared to all the previous teams that we played at Ultra First, all the first teams, 
all those great ones, like compared to this team, this has got to be one of the best performances at the Ultra Force that we've given in recent seasons. At the average age of the squad, was only 24 years old, guys. Like, that's impressive. We got a good, good young squad coming up.